Hello Math Typers! In this video, we'll look at a simple way to insert symbols that aren't located in Math Type symbol palettes. You're working with another teacher who has sent you one of her quizzes. You want to modify it and use it for your class. One of the expressions looks similar to the one here. You've looked in all of Math Type's palettes and can't find the symbol for not parallel. Fortunately, Math Type makes available literally hundreds of additional symbols that aren't included in the palettes. MathType's Insert Symbol dialog is available in its Edit menu. It's easy to see in the Insert Symbol dialog we can insert symbols from fonts we choose from this list. Remember, the symbol we're looking for is the Not Parallel symbol. It looks like it might take a while to find it. Surely there's a better way. In fact, there is. Insert Symbol's default is to View by Font, but there's also an option to View by Description. This symbol we're looking for, we've been calling it Not Parallel, but we don't know MathType's name for it. Let's just search for Parallel and the results will show any symbol with that word in the description. See, my search returned nearly 100 results, which is fine because they all fit within one window and they're easy to scan through to find what I need. If the search returns hundreds of results, perhaps even 1,000 or more, there's the option to show one of each. Using that option will help narrow the search. There's the symbol we're looking for. I see two fonts on my computer have this symbol. This one comes from the Euclid Math 1 font. Let's use that one. One of the ways to use this dialog is to insert a single symbol one time. That's what the Insert button does. See, when I did that, it added it to my expression. Another way is to assign a shortcut key to it. A third way is to add it to our toolbar. If we hold down the Alt key, you'll use the Command key if you're on a Mac, we can click and drag this symbol over to an empty spot on the toolbar. It will stay there even after we close and reopen MathType. To summarize, we've seen a way to find symbols we need that aren't in MathType's palettes, we've seen how to assign a shortcut to them, and we've seen how to add them to our toolbar so we don't have to find them every time. We hope this has been useful to you. If you have any ideas about what you'd like to see in future MathType videos, please let us know.